Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement. Let's take an example. If business wants that the standard tax to be converted as a custom tax, I mean the labels, how you can customize it by a sandbox we will learn today so if you see that i have enabled already the sandbox so called as a label if you would like to learn how to create the sandbox or enable the sandbox you can learn or watch my earlier videos i will share the link over the i pop up message where from you can click and you can redirect to the sandbox so now let's take an example so i have enabled and activated the so called label and i will go to the any of the page from the ui so let me take a example of order management and once i click on the order management i will go to the order management so i clicked on the order management application within the application if i go and i will click on the create order once i click on the create order you will see there are couple of fields available and those fields will have the standard text now business suggested that i want those fields to be custom one so let's take a example we'll take this as an example so called this field name is called as a purchase order now we will change the label the name of this purchase order to the customer purchase order how to do that so for that we have to go to the setting and action and within that you have an option called edit pages once you click on the edit pages you will see that it will enable the user interface where you can add it the user interfaces where you can add the content you can select and you can go to the structure so what we will do we'll go to the structure plus we are changing the fields the label of the field so we have to click on the structure and at which content area we would like to change the structure so we'll select those content area so we have selected the header part and within that we are selecting the purchase order and we'll click on the add it once the moment i click on the add it if you scroll up you will see that i have selected the purchase order so called as a input text and i want that input text to be custom one so what i will do i will select that and i will click on the show the properties of purchase order once i click on the setting icon i have to go to the label once you click on the label you will see that this is so called label and where you can just click on the select text as a resource you have to create over here your custom text so for that you have to click on create so i did create and then i will just click on the bottom row and it will enable the key the display value the description so i will set customer purchase order same i will copy to the display so i did that and same i will populate at a description in the key section what you can do rather than using the space you can put the underscore so that at later stage you won't face any issue so i have done that so i have entered the display value as well as the description the same and over here you can see that so called use so until unless you click on the use it won't be effective for the changes so you have to click on use once the moment you click on use 
you will see that the custom label will be activate and if you see the key and the display value and the description you have to click on ok once you click on the ok you will see that label comes as a customer purchase order and at the bottom you have click on apply so whatever the changes you are making you have to click on the apply until unless you click on the apply those changes won't be appear to the ui now click on ok once you done on the ok you will see that the customer purchase order so earlier it was purchase order now we have changed and make it as a customer purchase order so any field based on the customer requirement or the business requirement you can change it based on your business uses any field to avoid any confusion or considering or achieving your business requirement and once you done this changes what you have to do you have to go to the sandbox and you have to publish your sandbox to activate globally the changes so for that let me click on the close so i have done the changes and after that what i have to do i have to simply go to the sandbox and over there the sandbox we have called publish so i will just click on the publish the changes will be effective and immediately available i won't publish it so we have this is just for the demonstration purpose only what you have to do you have to just click on the publish so that this particular field name will be effective globally on the global ui the pages so whoever log in in the system as a order entry specialist order manager order administrator they can click on the order management the application and within that application once they click on the create orders they can see that the purchase order field become as a customer purchase order if you have any questions around that feel free to drop me an email i will get back to you as soon as i get an opportunity thank you thank you for watching my channel fusion action learning thank you for watching happy learning keep learning